Hannah's just turned 17 and she's just transitioned into post 16 college. Still part of the same school, but she's gone into the college section of it now, which I wasn't sure was going to work with her being so sensory and so not wanting to learn or on Hannah's terms, but they've adapted a timetable and she has a full sensory timetable, which is fabulous and works. So she's out every day doing something in the community and stuff as well. The services at home are harder to get and put in place, but we've got a good team at home in social services trying to make sure everything's as smooth as possible going across to adult. Hannah was diagnosed at two, so obviously it's quite a long time ago now, and thankfully treatments and stuff have changed a lot, even since Hannah was two. But she was had a lot of hospital admissions, and you think you can't say and enter it, you just think this is life forever. And then when she got to eight or nine, things did start to settle. Her behaviours came in and then they went a little bit with different med tweaks and now she is easier to manage, less seizures and you do think, oh, this is normal and you go through days where it is really hard still and you have days around her birthday where you think she should be doing this at 17 and she didn't but then you just look at her smile and you think she's so happy in her own world and actually it's quite a nice place for her to be. And she's dead happy all the time and she lets you know whether she likes you or not. And I'm quite positive about Hannah. I don't let Dravé rule what we do. She's got the condition, but I don't let us get us down because I think, well, it's not going to change. I could sit and cry all the time about it, but she's still going to be Hannah. So I've got on with it. I'll just make the most of what she is now. Mm -hmm.